Howdy everyone, Cub here. Welcome to how to build five absolutely devastating traps in Minecraft. So the first devastating trap is the trap you just saw detonate right here. And this should be able to kill a player who is wearing diamond armor with protection 4 on all of their gear. In fact, all the traps you see today should be able to do that. So it's a pretty devastating trap, and obviously half the mountain is gone here, so yeah, pretty devastating in terms of the explosion as well. So let's go ahead and build this thing. So we're going to start off here, we're going to dig a five block long trench, two blocks deep. So one, two, three, four, five, two blocks down. Now in the center of this, we're going to place down a redstone ore, and we're going to place snow on top of it. That'll activate the redstone ore, so make sure you do that before you set this trap. Then we're going to dig down again here. Going to place down an observer facing upward into the redstone ore. Dig down another block here. We'll have a piston, regular piston, facing straight down. Dig down again here. And then we're going to dig out to one side as well. So there, the redstone ore stopped uh, being activated. Um, so now what we need is a block right here. Dig down a block here. Place down a torch. This is what's going to activate your rail line, which is going to be right here. So there we go, five powered rails right there. And now you're essentially done, so be very careful here when you place down your uh, TNT minecarts. Now you can place as many TNT minecarts as you want as long as you look right at the edge here and place these like so. So you can see the shadow get darker as I place more down. So I'm just going to place down probably like close to 15 or 20 on each one. That seems like a good amount. Then you sneak on by here, come over to this side, do the exact same thing. So there's one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now obviously you'll have to get these out of your inventory, but since I'm in creative I can just place them down. Let's do 16 for good measure. There we go. Now all we need to do, just box this up like so. Be careful not to place any blocks on the side of this redstone ore as well. Um, so yeah, just be aware of that. Go ahead and just place these blocks down like this. Place this back, and your trap is now set. Now, anybody who walks on this snow layer will detonate the trap. Now, I will say you can substitute the snow layer if you build this indoors for carpet. Carpet will work exactly the same way as this, so just replace the, the snow layer with carpet, and it'll work just fine. So let's go ahead and go into game mode survival. Let's make sure we're on hard difficulty. We got our armor on. Let's see if we go down. So here we go. Yep. You're not surviving that one. You are not surviving that one. And in case you're wondering, here's the aftermath of the explosion. So, quite devastating indeed. This next trap is called the Door Vaporizer because it vaporizes the door and anything within about a 10 block vicinity of the door. So, let's go ahead and make the door first of all. So, here is your door you're going to trap. This also works really good in like high traffic areas. Um, so we're going to place our door, not in between the two cobblestone blocks here, but on the other side, uh, so that the door opens to the left. So you see that it opens to the left-hand side, and we walk through the right-hand side. So keep that in mind here with this. Uh, now we're just going to build up the building. So the building presumably would be, you know, a somewhat big building that would catch players off guard. They wouldn't expect a trap inside of it. So here's our building right here. Just a basic whatever type of building you want you can have so there's that uh, right so now what we need is we need to place down TNT minecarts on the tip of this door so then when it opens the minecarts fall they'll hit a powered rail down here and accelerate toward the door vaporizing it and the player which will presumably be standing just in front of this right here uh, so let's go ahead and do that so we're gonna need two blocks like this we're gonna place a chest down right here and then a rail down like this we'll need another block here and then we'll place down a minecart with TNT now you're gonna have to get close to the minecart with TNT and press it with your body into the chest like that and that's done so that it aligns the TNT minecart so that it is uh, now going to uh, clip onto the very edge of the door here so that is very important make sure you do that with all the TNT minecarts uh, and now all we need to do is just do that same thing over and over again, as many times as we want to. So we'll place down a chest, a rail, minecart with TNT, and then we'll do the same thing. Push it on in, just like that. And now we can get rid of these two blocks right here. You'll see the TNT minecart snaps down to the rail here. 
So we have two TNT minecarts now in there. And let's just add in a few more. So let's just do another one like this. Press it in. There we go. Get rid of this. It snaps down. Fantastic. Place down the rail. TNT minecart. Press it in. Get rid of these blocks. It snaps down. And let's just do maybe two more, let's say. So we'll do one here. Break that. Another one. There we go. And you can just keep doing this if you really wanted to. But we're just going to stop it at this next one, I think. So there's that. Press it in. And then do that. Perfect. Okay, so there's that. Uh, now what we need is we need to go ahead and place down our powered rail down here. So we're going to have to have a powered rail facing this way. We need a block right here. And then we need a uh, lever which is going to be placed to power this rail. So this is going to be a permanently powered rail. Uh, so let me get out my lever right here. We're just going to hide this underneath here, which I think is this block. Whoop, this block here will, I think, be where our rail is. So, yep, it is permanently powered now. And now we can get rid of these chests and these blocks here. And you'll see... TNT minecarts are now precariously balanced on the door, so let's just go ahead. We got our armor on, as you can see. We're going to go ahead and switch to survival game mode. And we're just walking. We're not going to be suspecting anything. We're going to walk up to the house, see what happens. So we open the door, and we die instantly. So there you go. Devastating trap number two. Here's the aftermath of trap number two, in case you're wondering, by the way. So, yeah, pretty devastating. A lot of the house is gone. A lot of the ground is gone. Pretty good. This next trap is a trap for the end portal, so that anybody who comes from the overworld to the end will die on the obsidian platform right here when they come through. So, this is a pretty straightforward trap, so all we need to do is come up with five blocks on the side. I'm going to use obsidian. Uh, because that is the best block to use. It's not destroyed by explosions. So we're going to come up with five blocks of obsidian right here. And just build this up for every single side. Five blocks tall. So here's our obsidian box. And inside of here, we're now going to start to make the traps. So we're going to come up one, two, three blocks here. And we're going to place down a bunch of blocks like this. This is going to be the blocks that get deleted when your trap activates, just because that's how the obsidian uh, platform works. So yeah, there's our blocks right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to basically place down a checkerboard pattern like this uh, with some TNT minecarts on these rails. So there we go. Perfect. Just like that. And I'm going to put, let's say, one, two, three. Let's put three on each one. That seems like a good amount. Might need a little bit more or a little bit less, depending on if you anticipate um, your target coming through with like a totem of undying, for example, or maybe they're going to come through with some potion effect, but shouldn't be too difficult to put down multiple, uh, TNT minecarts for, uh, whoever you're targeting. So you just got to make sure you can, you know, make it to the side here make sure you get the angle right on these. And if one of them has only one, that's probably fine. You're probably not going to worry too much about how many of these you have on there so there's three all right perfect and now you're going to cap it off with some more obsidian so just cap this whole thing off here so that nobody can possibly escape once this thing is activated so there we go there's that all right so that trap is now set let's go ahead and go to the overworld now and jump through in survival see what happens Okay, game mode is in survival. We got our gear on now, and let's go ahead and jump on through, see what happens. Yep, that's that's pretty devastating. That's pretty devastating. So there you have it. That trap kills pretty quickly. You don't really have too much time to react. Very little time to react, at least. And yeah, um, it also has almost no collateral damage because you're in a box of obsidian. Our next trap is also set in the end. This is the Outer End Gateway Portal Trap. So this works because when players teleport to the Outer End Gateway, they always teleport onto the same block. So when I throw an Ender Pearl through this portal, I'll always land on this block right here. 
So we can exploit that and to make the trap all you got to do Basically tower up two blocks remove a block beneath here. We're gonna go out two blocks on this side like this to come two blocks this way here and then two blocks this way like that I'm gonna place down powered rails like this we need a little bit of a pressure plate and some redstone dust place down a redstone dust right here place down a pressure plate where the player lands which will always be on top of that block now we just need some minecarts with TNT so we'll place down a few of them right here we'll place down a few of them right here and we'll place down a few more right over here there we go fantastic uh, now all you need to do is simply get back to the main end island which I believe I can do if I just use a ender pearl through this gateway portal now make sure you don't place blocks anywhere around this area because if you have a block that's higher than this then the player will be teleported to that block uh, it's best just to fly back to the main end island but I think I can make this here yep I made it alright sweet so let's go ahead and go into survival game mode and we got our armor on, so let's go through and see what happens. Yep, you're not surviving that. This next trap is possibly one of my favorites because it relies on trickery and deceit instead of shock and awe. So, let's go ahead and build it. So first off, we're going to build a scaffolding tower all the way up to world height. So let me just go ahead and do that right here. I'll just go ahead and place down all these scaffolding and we'll just continually grow the tower until it reaches the world height limit. Alright, world height limit has been reached. Let me just go ahead and go into creative mode. And so what you do in survival, you just climb up this or fly up here to the very top with the elytra. So once you make it up to world height, you're going to dig down two blocks here and we're going to go out one, two, three, four, five, six blocks in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks in that direction. Six blocks in that direction, six blocks in that direction, and then you're going to connect everything so that you basically make a big diamond shape in the sky like this. There we go. So there's one quarter of the diamond, but just keep doing that for all the sides here. So at this point, you're almost done. So what you're going to do now is just place a rail, TNT minecart, rail, TNT minecart, rail, TNT minecart, and then just continue this pattern. So you're going to create a whole platform full of TNT minecarts up here in the sky. Just placing one on each each one here, just like this. And so when this whole scaffolding thing is broken, um, then all these TNT minecarts will fall. They should not interact with one another because you're placing them in a checkerboard pattern, so you should be fine there. Um, but yeah, your friend below will not know this. So let's see how we fool our friend into taking this down for us. Uh, I'll just go ahead and fill in the rest of this with TNT minecarts as well. And then we'll get down to the bottom. So this is what your trap should look like once you're done placing down all your TNT minecarts. Uh, just a word of note, you do want to have some torches up here if you're going to build this and it's going to be up for more than like a day or so because mobs will spawn here. So make sure you're putting torches down as you go uh, with this thing. Otherwise the mobs will spawn here potentially and they might bump into the TNT minecarts setting this thing off. Uh, prematurely so yeah make sure you have some torches in there as well but now this trap is set we can go all the way down to the bottom you can see from the bottom you can't really see or from the ground you can't really see uh, up there so if I even go into FOV and do like a cheaty zoom type thing here yeah can't really see the the, uh, the TNT minecarts up there so that's exactly what we want to see and make sure you get rid of anything on the bottom here that like extra scaffolding and stuff that might indicate something's up uh, and now all you need all you need is a sign that says hey friend can you help me take this down thanks cub there you go so now what happens and you might want to put down you know maybe a few more extra scaffolding things like this you know just so that you know it looks legit you know have a few more things up there without any TNT minecarts could help out um, so yeah, your friend's going to come along in survival mode. And they say, oh, Cub needs some help to take this stuff down? Oh, no problem. I can do that. Let me just take this down, take this down, take this down. We'll just walk around here, gather all this stuff up. Make sure we got all the scaffolding here. Fantastic. Okay, it's still coming down. Very good. It's going to collect this. Cub's going to be so happy that I helped him out. 
such a good friend, you know? Oh, uh, oh, what the heck? And there you go. There you go. Big troll. They're probably not even going to look up, <laughs> to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah. One of my favorite traps. It's a slow play, but if it pays off, it's absolutely worth it. And it's pretty, pretty devastating, as you saw. So here's the aftermath of the final trap. Looks pretty devastating to me, and I doubt anybody would be able to survive this. It also has fantastic coverage area in terms of, like, the area it affects. So definitely a good trap. Anyways, for now, if you enjoyed, please leave a like. Be sure to subscribe. What are you doing if you haven't subscribed and you made it to this part of the video? Honest to God, you need to subscribe to this channel. It's a good channel. Thank you so much. God bless, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.